落ちた強豪を飛べないカラス<笑> What's up, YouTube channel? Blackman here, and today we're gonna talk about Summon Sorcerers, a card that just got re e r a d e d in the OCG, meaning that it will most likely become legal in the overseas, basically in the TCG with the re e r a d e d version.、Uh, but, c h a l l e n g Blackwing, how can I use this in my Blackwing deck, and what does this re e r a d e d mean? And,、uh, Everything. What does the card even do? Well, I'm gonna tell you that. So,、uh, basically, Summon Sorcerers got banned like, I think,、uh, five, six years ago.、Uh, the card was just really great, and it basically, the r e a r r e d version now locks you into the same type of monster that you special summon from the deck. So, it's a little bit of a nerf down version of the card.、Uh, the last time I played Summon Sorcerers was actually a way to get Rusty and basically, you know, setting the rank of Magic Launch, activating Time to Reader's effect. Uh, detaching everything, chaining the rank up magic launch, and going into、uh, Entity as a thought. Basically, a mini Kali Yuga that says that after this card was XYZ summoned, your opponent cannot activate monster effects for the rest of that turn.、Uh, so, super fair, right?、Uh, but, anyways,、uh, yeah, that was when I played Summon Sorcerers the last time, so it was like six years ago, I think.、Uh, but, anyways,、uh, how can you implement this card into your own Blackwing deck? So, let's Read the effect first. If this card is linked somewhere, you can special summon one monster from your hand in defense position to your opponent's zone this card points to, and again, its effect. Then you can special summon one monster with the same type as that monster from your deck in defense position, but again, its effect. And if you do that, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn except monsters with the same original type as the monster special summon from the deck. And you can only use this effect of Southern Sorcerers once per turn. So, in a nutshell, You play the effect, you special summon some Blackwing from your hand, which is a Wind Beast, then you special summon some Blackwing from your deck, which is a Wind Beast, and then you're locked into Wind Beast for the rest of this turn.、Uh, so let's have a look at our first candidate.、Uh, we have Steam, obviously super nice because if you special summon it, you know, you basically get two level three、uh, tuner. Bodies with it.、Uh, however, because we are locked into the Wind Beast, Steam creates Steam tokens, which are Aqua and Wind. So basically, we cannot summon the tokens, which is a little bit a shame.、Uh, I would otherwise have th thought that the Steam would have been the best, best viable card to special summon with this card. For example, when you could summon it with Needle Fiber, it was so powerful because Needle Fiber didn't have like, any restrictions.、Uh, so that was really nice. However, with that,、eh, I don't think Steam is maybe that great to summon, but it's still pretty good.、Uh, the next card, Sonda, is also really interesting. And first, I thought to myself, hey, wait a minute. If we actually draw into Sonda, you know, you can just special summon it to your opponent. And then, Sonda's first line is you cannot special summon monsters from the X r e c except Synchro Monsters. So, wouldn't this make our opponent only be able to go to Synchro Monsters? But then I remembered Summon Sorcerers negates the effect. So that doesn't work, unfortunately. Otherwise, that would have been just really great.、Uh, also, obviously, if you special summon your own Zonda, the effect is negated. Otherwise, it would have been pretty cool. You could have pretty much like,、uh, take back the card you gave to the opponent to your hand.、Uh, just like, hey, here's a monster to your board, summon Zonda, and hey, by the way, I'm taking this card back to my hand. But that doesn't work. Obviously, gray effects do still work because they're not. On the field anymore at that time. So, the next card we're having a look at is Zepiros.、Uh, Zepiros, obviously, you have multiple ways of accessing this card in the deck. We have Boreal Storm, we have v i c e t r i c k s and we have Vada. So, do we still need a like, fourth basically, way of accessing this? Well, I don't think so, but then again, it's nice to get access to Zepiros. Then, we have also another card, is Shagna, which is obviously super nice to summon if you cannot. Get to it in any other way.、Uh, usually, you go into it with Borea Storm, you know, you just send it to the graveyard, and yeah, then, then you have it there. But if you, if, this is a nice way to special summon it if you really need it, and you know, after that, you get the grave effect, which is nice because there aren't cards that basically do that.、Uh, then we have Vayu, which is obviously super nice. I really like the card, obviously, my whole like, branding is around this card. But with b a y u the weakness is that you have to play a lot of extra deck cards to get this to work. First, you have to have the Summon Sorceress, then you have, you have to have like Sohaya or some other Black Wings to make this really work, and preferably you would also want some card to like an Aster or something that would special summon this back, and you could kind of like loop the b a y u and really special summon out stuff with it.、Uh, so, yeah. However, there are other cards that make Summon Sorcerer Shrine, or I would say 
um, the other way around. There are their summon sorcerers is making other cards shine. For example, triple tactic tasking. So basically, uh, you get the extra additional value if you, your opponent has a monster on the board. So, you know, your opponent has played a monster effect of some sort, effect Veiler, Asher, whatever, then you go into summon sorcerers, summon your Blackwing to their board, and then you get the additional effect of triple tactic uh, tasking. So you can actually get the card straight to your hand and you can activate it. So that's pretty nice. Other ways to play with summon sorcerers is also that you can actually special summon something that is bad in your hand to your opponent's field and actually take advantage of it. And what do I mean by that? Uh, well, obviously, for example, let's say you hard draw into a steam or something else, you know. You can special summon it to your opponent's board, then you can special summon the Rikery and destroy it, and well, then you have your steam in the graveyard, for example. Uh, another way of doing this is, for example, Black Winch Dragon's burn effect, you know, if you really want to burn your opponent or nothing, for example, uh, they have that monster and you can make, you know, uh, it's smaller, or with Black Winch Dragon it's a requirement that they need to have the monster to be able to inflict that burn damage. However, one thing that is really important to remember with Summon Sorcerers is that if you're playing some kind of another engine in your deck, Bustial Engine, Aorus Engine or some other engine, it's really key to remember to just summon first those dragons and other monsters out first, because after you have activated Summon Sorcerers effect, you're pretty much locked into Winch Beast if you summon a Black Wing, which you most likely will do. And another thing to with the same kind of idea is that uh, you have to summon the Black Winch Assault Dragon out first before you go into Summon Sub Sorcerers, because otherwise you won't be able to summon it, unfortunately. Um, and pretty much the same with Warlord Chavez Dragon as well. Uh, but are you gonna test the Summon Sorcerers in your Black Wing deck? Let me know in the comment section below, are you gonna test Summon Sorcerers? Did this video inspire you to try something? But yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please comment them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'm out. So, I'm not going to be able to do it.